with you. Yeah, I feel like I'm at the tippy top of my game, looking down at the rafters. I had to sun these boys, can't leave them past me. Yo, welcome to another episode of Mixtape Tour Stories. I got my brother, the one, yeah. me personally, the best at what he does. You ain't yeah. no facts. The pharmacist, my brother from Mount Vernon, was good for. You, you ain't lie. You ain't lie. You ain't, I ain't lie, bro. What's yeah, good? Facts. What's going on, fellas? What's good, man? The 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 first question that we like asking every guest that come here: What park you rep? You know, you know, it could be a park, it could be Fourth a gym, Street park. it could be Fourth Street Park, Mount Vernon, Fourth Street Park. Where's that located at? In Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon. Okay. Okay, so that's 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 the park you learn to play the game. You, you know, nah, you it's just busy. the park where I really start handing out um, body bags. Okay, okay, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> How old were you, bro? Huh? How old were you? Too young. <laughs> I was probably about like now. Nah. So when I moved to my Vernon, I was about like twelve. Where I okay. started officially handing out body bags, but before I was just sending them to the morgue to visit. <laughs> 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 Yo, where, where'd you get the name Pharmacist from? Who, who gave you that name? Where'd you, where'd Hannibal. you get that from? Okay. Hannibal gave me that name in Rucker against uh, Dominican Power. So one of the point guards of Dominican Power, I don't know his name, but he got the braids. I was shaking him up at half court. So when I threw the ball between my legs, I act like I passed it. He looked over. Then he walked towards the defense. I mean, towards the rest of the team. Then he asked Hannibal, Yo, what you did with the ball? He said, oh, he drugged you. And he went in from there. But it's, as Hannibal keeps saying, the pharmacist, pharmacist, I ain't know who he's talking about. Hey, man, that's what them names. Until after the game, I said, yo, who was you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what them names get handed down at. Me? Yeah. That's what you get them names at, at Rucker, man. Yeah, it's official. Yes, sir. So I was, I was playing with um, Law Finesse. Okay. Okay. But like uh, that's, like that's Raza big. said, man, y'all, you know, brothers, y'all was on tour together. You know, so roommates, roommates, always, always roommates. So when it's time to roommate, there you go. Now when it's time to roommate, me and Roz, nobody else. What's Roz like? <laughs> he a dirty like one, he a clean nah, one? just like me. We the same. We keeping everything straight. Nobody right. coming in our room. Y'all smoking. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> don't come in our room. We don't want to go to no party. We don't none of that. None of that. Like, really, we just want to chill. I said, it. Go, just we, me and him. That's dinner, it. we playing dinner, we go half on a, bu- a basket of French fries. Like, we, we went overseas. <laughs> we went overseas. No, for no real. Cap. Like, and he know, look, look, he know my order overseas. Like, he know my order overseas. What's my order overseas? French fries, water with lemon. That's it. <laughs> That's all you eating? That's it. That's it. Shit, we you be overseas, I feel I can come you. downstairs and it's already on the table. He know you that well. He already know already. We when grown. Eat, that's brotherhood. Like, yep, yep. I made him a pizza from scratch. Check this out. Let me explain. You made let me a pizza explain. from scratch. Let, let me explain. He's a, a, a bellish shit. I sound like he signed um, you, bro. Nah, I'm just playing with you. Watch this, though, for real. We went. We was hungry. We went. He got a frozen pizza, right? Mm-hmm. What was in Africa? Yeah. Nairobi? Yeah. Nairobi, Kenya. Oh, and that's another story we're going to touch. About 50. Shout okay. out to 50. Anyway, we in Nairobi, Kenya. We go to the grocery store. We grab some pizzas, some... some Eggs. Eggs, all this stuff. Sausages and <laughs> <Everything>. fruits. <laughs> this, we get back to the room. I'm like, damn, what are we going to eat for dinner, man? Let's, I'm going to just go grab the fries and the water, bring the lemons or whatever. He was like, no, 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 I'm cooking tonight. <laughs> for, I said, for you real. cooking? What you cooking for? <laughs> Hand me that pizza. I was like, dog, they ain't got no microwaves or nothing. How you gonna cook this shit? This motherfucker grabs the coffee pot, put water in the bowl, you know, so the steam and yeah. all that'll come up, opens the top, sits the pizza on there. Shit's crust to <laughs> perfection. Cheese melted, it got the crunch to Yo, it. Everything. You know, that shit's supposed to be rubbery, Yo, you know? Yeah. No disrespect, that sound like some, some jail that's shit. That's that yeah, commissary. That's where I got it from. Okay. That's okay. where I got it from, cut, I ain't gonna lie. Cut the pizza okay. up. Yo, for real, no lie. Commissary. Wow. The next morning, we had eggs, sausages, and fruits. And I made the eggs and put them through the microwave and all that. I mean, through the through the pot and everything. He was like, yo, farm, you, 
you bugging. <laughs> <laughs> like he made a whole meal and then when it, it you know, we couldn't get to the grocery stores. Yeah. We just went downstairs and got the large fry with the with the water, the lemon. Yeah. That's that's dope though, man. Like on tour, y'all connected, became like, you know, a brotherhood. That's dope. Yeah, Sauce was my roommate for two days. That's two dope. days? Why two days? The first day I got there. Second day he had to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Spot day. <laughs> <laughs> I said Talent. first day I got there, I said, Sauce, you you room with me? I said, yeah, for him. I said, okay. <laughs> We're gonna go to sleep tonight because it's late. But down that morning time come, Riley's gonna be in this room with me the, the next night. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Linda, listen. <laughs> yeah, listen. Y'all don't want me upset, right? So look, I need Riley in my room. Why? Just switch. I don't know what y'all gonna tell Source. But tell him, when we get to the next city, just hand me and Riza the key and say, Riza and Farm, hey, y'all go to your room. <laughs> <laughs> and she did it. And she did it. For like I mean, 12 it, cities. It's probably, it's probably like a comfort thing, man, because y'all, you know, became friends. I don't like cool. I don't like company. So when you want to come and bring people in, and that's oh. not my prerogative, that's not my, my gig, it's like, bro, I'm not moving out my room. I'm not yeah. leaving out. You go find another room. Yeah. So where'd y'all meet at? Um... Y'all two. Yeah, yeah, we met yeah. on oh, tour. Yeah. yeah, on tour. Oh four. What city? Atlanta. Atlanta. Oh, see, I'm in the hometown. Mm -hmm. Atlanta, so I know that was crazy then. Atlanta. Yeah, it was. It, you know what? I heard about him already, right? Because I was already moving around different cities, but I never went to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I, all the cities I went to, I never went to Atlanta. So this is your first time in Atlanta? So when I went to Atlanta, no, I went to Atlanta with Source way before I was with AM1. I'm going to tell you that story. That's how, shoot. Got, that's how he got his smile. All right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> for me, but yeah, and um, I met Roz because Roz was dunking, and he had like a jersey, and I kept on saying, "Yo, first of all, that jersey is fly. That's number one. I'm like, yo, that jersey fly, that color. But who is he? Like, who is this dude? Then it was two of them. Who's the it second? Was Roz and Flight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Flight. So them two, I used to be like, yo. When we get to Atlanta, I already know we got Rise and Flight on our team. I can't wait. So I have to, I'm like, in the game, I'm like, yo, let me just see Dunks before the game, yo. Rise is doing the thing. I'm like, yo, Flight, do your thing that you do when you wipe the glass or something like that. Wax so, on, wax off. Rise was the first one to throw the ball between his legs and do a 360. Yeah. So when he did that, I was like, okay. Main and Shane, Farm and Rise. Yep. <laughs> That's how it clicked from right there. I said, yeah. I know who I'm going to throw my oops to. And sure enough, I, just go. I'll leave that ball up in the air. Roz is waiting. I'm going to go get it. That's dope. They said your oops is different, bro. They said the way you throw it down, different, dog. Now, yeah. Roz, I, what's the favorite pass I threw to you? Was it Seattle? And I was falling? Yeah, behind the back. Oh. Bo uh, so I, so I ball, ball for real. Uh, first ball for real game was yeah because this wasn't on the end one so yeah. it was ball for real. Ball for real. The chair. The chair is loud. My bad. Nah, I ain't gonna... <laughs> no, you good. It's all... You know what it is? We could, we could, I was thinking about what he was saying about half. <laughs> <laughs> I was. My bad, Rise. We gonna, we gonna Rise. We gonna pick up right there with you. My bad. What you gonna bring another chair? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. No, give me that one. That one, that one is actually kind of squeaky too. That one right there. Yeah, it makes it makes noise. Oh, the one that ain't even moving. Why you just can't fucking be still? Cause you fucking fat. Fuck. Shit. Get on my nerve. God damn, bro. God. Duh. How much he owe you? Yo, chill out. How much? How much he owe you? Sell, sell, huh? Who? Hey, yo. Sit on it. Sit on it. Sit on it. All right. Lean back a little. No, no, no. I'm good. Okay. Cool. No. <laughs> no lean back. I'm good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That shit sound like a cat. That shit was like. <laughs> you know what? I, heard it. I'm like, I ain't hear it until y'all said something. I started hearing it like here and there. That shit. Go. You ready? All right. So, like. To bring up what you just asked, Demo, um, it, it was different. It was different. But one of the – so we was in Seattle. Ball for real game. First game. This is 
when Aaron won and Ball did their little thing. They yeah. did their own thing, right? Yeah. They split. Phone coming down. Bow, bow, bow. He's driven. Goes through somebody's legs. Wraps over him. And he's getting ready to fall. I always, I'm always on the right side booking to get ready to go. As soon as the rebound, as soon as the shot go up, the rebound's coming off. I'm going down the line. So Farm throws it through his legs, swings his arm over him, catches the ball. Somebody else is in front of him, and he quick cross. He was falling. Mm. So he was as he was falling, the ball was going behind his back. So he flipped it over his back. And it, I'm running, getting ready to jump, and I catch it on one side. And went under, went and to the other side. Went to the other side. Boom! Canceled Christmas. Bro, what you, 260? That stopped it? That stopped yeah. It? yeah, I'm like back then, was you like 250, 260? Mm-mm, I was in, I was good. Was I? Nah. No. Like well, I was about like two, 220, 240. 220. 220 but I'm talking about like a Zion 260. I ain't talking about like, I'm like. No, I was like nah, 225. Was like, yeah, yeah, I was like yeah. 225. Five, was maybe like 215. You can say that. Maybe 225 is at my that. heavier. The first Zion. The power of this motherfucker. You can say that. But crazy. Zion taller. But that was yeah. the first Zion. I mm-hmm. can say that. It was a, I, was, I was doing this as a fan. So it was, you, you got to remember, like, I was on, but I wasn't on. Like, I had my foot you, in the door, but I never. Your stripes. Right, yeah. I earned my stripes. I never really had the pleasure to, to get invited like they did. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But it, it was never no animosity. I just knew I had to work harder. Yeah. When he came on the scene, and, they and you always know, talked about him. They still Shout do. out to Duke Tango, man. Duke oh, used baby. to. Oh, baby. Duke <laughs> used to. Like, before the game, I'm already dunking and all that. But when the intros, that, it's over with. Nah, that, I can say that about um, Duke was one of the people that really, like, made me, like, okay, I'm going to get in my bag every time. <laughs> You but it was like we had that one two thing where it was like he knew when it was my time. Yeah. He knew when it was like not the hype farm up right now. It's not a good time to hype farm up. Yeah. But he knew if somebody dribble at me, I'm Duke. Oh, yes. And then he get into his back. He already knew. Yeah. Then he knew a time of the game when I'm like, all right, Duke, I'm about to go for the jersey right now. Yeah, well, you well, you know when he start bringing out that mano e mano. Oh, you know it's That's over with. It's time. No, it's it was time. Just, and that right people don't realize. Huh. And I, I just mentioned, I mentioned this to Shane. I said, um, Duke, and there was a reason why that battle happened between Sauce and I. Word. Because when Miami game, I did what I did. It wasn't really nothing until the next game. Before the game, we was in um, front of the hotel. It was me, Duke, and Mo Elrod. But I just got through talking to Joel's and them because they was on tour with us. And Duke came, and he was like, Mo said something to me like, oh, I ain't know Duke was like, what? Like, you don't know, he, like, he get busy. Like, Duke, he do this. This is my son. Like, so when Duke said that, the camera crew just came right out the hotel. Like, it was like Maury show. They just bust right out. <laughs> Controversy. <laughs> Yo, it was crazy. Man, it came, TV. He came right out. Boom. So what happened? So what you gonna do today for him? I'm like, oh. uh, well, this is what y'all. All right, well, yeah, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna go at him. I'm, but they don't realize I was going at everybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they made it was like, all right, when we got on the bus. So for him, what you what you and Sauce gonna do today? And I'm like, what? Me and Sauce? No, I'm just going to the arena to play. So Sauce, what? Once I heard him say something, it was like, I think he said something about like. You know, I'm just shut down, son. I was just like, but I'm on the opposing team. I'm like, oh, no. No, you're not. I am. I'm the <laughs> shut down master. I, don't, I know what you do, but no, nah, I'm. I do what I do. My joint is real. Like, so it was like, no, nah, I'm uh. Did that get serious? Or like, what? Yeah. Like, how serious did that get? How serious it got? I'm saying how serious. In your perspective, you talking back a couple years later now, bro. You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me. Like, for real, though. Serious? No, no bully stuff. But look, I was Fifty Cent. <laughs> he was Ja Rule. Oh, ooh. oh, <laughs> yo, listen, that I'm not, I'm not playing. I was for no real. Bullshit. It was serious. Like, Shout out to the and series, the reason baby. why, the reason why, and I tell people this all the time. They ain't really give it the whole why everything started because when I was 16 years old, so I stayed at my crib for two weeks. Yeah. I was 16. No and one, no none of that. We knew somebody. His manager knew. And um, 
they knew that I used to hang with Shane and Main and them. Yeah. So we used to do like games. So so I was like, yo, I'm gonna just stay in New York. I'm like, well, come to my crib. Come to my crib, we chilling, boom, boom. Sunday morning we go play ball. I mean, we playing with the vets like Lowe's Moore, uh, Gus Williams and all these Rasul Saladin. We playing against like my Vernon top ballers or whatnot. And they like, nah, listen, don't come in here with this. We not, we playing ball, like, so. Sauce ain't really wanted to play. Once they really told him, like, you're not coming here doing no tricks because we calling. So we waited till, like, the games was over. We went to go play ball on the side, just me and him. So I did, like, two moves that I was like, yo, bro, when I come on tour, you see how everybody want to throw the ball between legs? I do that six times. Boom, 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 boom. Six times. Yeah. Because once you start looking at me, I'm out on you. Like, <clears throat> so. And this was Saul saying to you. I'm this, saying this, this is what saying, okay, cool. I'm telling him, like, I do these type of this move right here. Boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. I said, everybody else go between the legs. Boom, boom, boom. I'm like, I go between my legs six times. Blah, 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 blah. And then I'm going to fake you. Well, I ain't going to go between my legs. This had 16. This wasn't on no mixtape tours or none mm -hmm. of that. He looking. I said, then I got this other joint. When you want to play D on me, I'm going to just drop it. I'm going to catch it, and I'm going to wrap it around my legs. I saw Sauce look at that move and was like. Clocked it. That's he said, said, do that again? That's the thing he did. That's he the thing said, he did. He said, do that again? I said, bounce, catch, wrap around. He said, fall. You should call that the Y2K. I'm like, the Y2K? Why? He's like, bro, we just entered 2000. I'm like, oh, you right. All right, cool. Pay no mind. We get to my crib. He starts, he said, yo, you need to start naming all your moves for him. Like, so, so I don't do that. I don't name moves. I don't even know. I don't got no moves. I just dribble real 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 So it was so crazy. I never flew before. My first time flying was to Atlanta with Sauce. That's next night. He was going back home. I'm like, let me book me a ticket. I'm going to Atlanta with him to go ball at. He's talking about run and shoot. I'm going to go ball at run and shoot. So your first time flying was to go ball at run and shoot yep. in Atlanta. With Sauce. Mm -hmm. And Mark. Yeah. And, and Mark was like, yo, I want to I wanna, I wanna, um, work with you. I'm like, nope. So you never, he would never manage you? Nope. Perfect. I'm like, nope. Why? Because when I got there, this is this this is where I, I live but like this. When Sauce came to my crib, so I slept in my bed. I slept on the floor. When I got to Atlanta, Sauce laid in his bed. I laid on the floor. Mm, that's not real. Like mm. that, that's real. So the two days I was there, it was like, nah, I can't deal with these people. So you never got a chance to hash that shit out? No. Because it was always the 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 um people behind the scenes doing the things that they was doing. Marketing. Mm-hmm. Mm Charge. Because they ain't market me. I was never on the bus. That's the thing though, you original though. So My like... picture was never on the bus. So let me ask you a question. I got it. When Damn. when you sign, when you sign. Right? Mm -hmm. Not as a not as a contact play a contract player as far as trying to win the open run. Mm -hmm. the other team, yeah. When they call you and say we got a contract for you for for ten games. Yeah. And I do the whole ten games. The next year we sign you because what you just did. Mm -hmm. Back to back years, we sign you. So you know, you've just got your first player that you signing. So you signed three other players right behind me. Me, Fess, Helicopter, Baby Shack, signed all together. I remember because was AO in that group? No, AO was us. already signed. <clears throat> um, Ron met me in, in Queens and told me, and Fess, no, and, um, Helicopter, we was together in Queens because Helicopter, Ron, cause stars at yeah, Helicopter and Spider was on like an ABA team, so they was in New York playing. So he was like, meet me, we just gonna sign y'all all together. So when we signed, you know, in the next year, you're coming on the tour. What's the first thing any player is looking for? 
Marketing. Like you want to see your shit? face on the bus. Yeah, yeah. the bus was the, that was, the bus face was, on the bus. Like that's the first thing you want to see. That's, yeah. like yeah. a, that's like a billboard. Yeah, right. That's they only a billboard came on movement. tour for the bus, yeah. right? Yeah. Basically, right. the tour was for the bus. For the bus. You watched the show for the bus a little and, bit. Yeah. I mean, you feel me? And when I got on it, I wasn't on it. <laughs> so you you was never on none of the buses. Nope, bro. It was so ball many for real. Only ball for real. real. Only ball for real. Oh, that's fucked up. Cause you were like, yo, you stay. You original. And I made Sports Illustrated and then they they ain't they ain't do nothing with that either. You I ain't get no I ain't, you was on the front of that, brother. Like, yeah, I was on the front cover of that. That's bro, terrible. they be hating on dudes five seven, dog. Nah, I knew it was like that though. <laughs> they hate on the short dudes, dog. I was like the out I was like the outcast of everybody though. I was different though. I ain't gonna lie. I was real gangster Ooh. than everybody else. I really brought the street really into the ball. That's why Aaron Shout and out was. to Hooker. Yeah, shout out to Hooker. That's Who's, me. <laughs> All right, hook up. <laughs> That's a gangster on tour. <laughs> Remember, Shane oh, said that he was the he was the go to knockouts. Yeah, on tour because reason why I'm gonna tell you it wasn't like I was just I wasn't told you again I'm not no bully. See, this is the thing. Yeah, I got me making it be out a bully. You're not a nah. bully. No. <laughs> <laughs> you it said was you always it was always this though. We together. Yeah. Nobody gonna mess with us. I'm not talking about nobody messing with me. Nobody, nobody, mess, nobody with mess with you. Nobody mess with you. Nobody mess with him. Oh, we out together. Nobody mess. With, I don't care what's going on. We all having a good night. Oh. So it was always that somebody would come in and it, they'd be messing with main event, or they'd be messing with professor. I have several fights old professor. Why you got this white boy out here with y'all? Yo, who this? This white boy ain't good. This white boy ain't. Nah, this white boy is my brother. Yeah. This white boy is my brother. Da, 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 da. Boom. Knockout? Yeah, sleepy? Yeah. Sleepy, sleepy. <laughs> one professional. Sleepy? One, one professional. Sleepy. One, one professional Shut out the bitch. One, one professional <laughs> boxer dude in Japan, he uh was up in main event phase. Like, yeah, what up, what up? Yeah, my city, yeah, my city. No, no, no. Main was like, okay, fall. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Look, this my this my son right here. So what you guys say, say it to him. He looked over. And it's the same dude that walked in and went to Professor Face and was like, why are you in here? So what happened to the dude? Oh, he was under the table. Sleepy. Sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was a cigarette machine in the club and an elevator. When y'all speak to Duke, Duke probably know about the elevator and the cigarette machine. <laughs> he was pushing the cigarette machine for like four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go down the elevator, baby. Not the, not the cigarette machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, but that's but, fucked up, though. So you was never on none of the buses. Nah, I wasn't I on the bus. That. Nah, I wasn't on the bus. Okay. And when I really, really got signed, it was like, like I was the outcast. I can, everybody else be like ten minutes late. I'm five minutes late. I'm getting five and twenty five hundred. 3,000. I feel like... To every, the point where I told him, I'm going to whoop Steve ass if he take another dollar from me again because he don't know who he's dealing with. You was fine that much? I was fine a lot of dollars. <laughs> no cap. And I told him, I'm going to whoop Steve ass. <laughs> if, if Steve come to me again and tell me about finding me again, I'm going to whoop his ass on one of these tour dates. So I guess you didn't get fined again. Nope, until we got to New York City. <laughs> when happened? I brought my car to, because we was, all right, we was coming into the city. We was going into Boston. I had my man meet me on the highway and bring my car to, and bring my car. So I knew we was stopping at this little rest stop. I already knew we was going to stop there. And if not, I told him I'm stopping at this rest stop because my car's <laughs> going to be there. It was off the 95. Yeah, I yeah. know it. I'm in this area. I know where I'm at. So my man met me there. I got in my car. I went right to the hotel. I'm talking about right behind the bus. I'm talking about following the bus. When they hand out the key, I was standing right there. You ain't have to look for me. I'm right there. Give me my key. You just in your shit. So they right. found you for that. He found me for that. Because mm -hmm. I went to the game with my car. So now when he's telling me this and I'm going, okay, <laughs> wait till we get to New York. I got 70 tickets for Madison Square Garden right here. I'm going to have 65 bloods in there. <laughs> Front row, nigga. I swear to God. I said, I'm going to have, I swear, I told him, I said, Steve, 
one day he came in my room, he said, yo, look, I just be fucking with you, uh, whatever you say. I say, nah, but you can't play with me like that because I really don't play those games. I'm yeah. not no other dudes that you really could be talking to like that and doing all that. Like, the same respect you give all them other dudes, I want that same respect because I'm giving you that respect. Like, don't come to my room and want to smoke with me and do all this, and then every time you leave out the door, you finding me. I, I'm I'm really confused now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because nah. you dealing with a person that really got some mind, like, that really go up here and go crazy, and it's like, yo, Bert, why are you playing with me, Bert? Why are you, first of all, you chilling with me right now, and you walk out that door, you tell me as you leaving out, you know I'm still going to find you, though. Oh... You just gonna smoke my shit <laughs> and still find me? You a bad motherfucker. Like, so you gotta be a bad motherfucker if you gonna smoke my shit and then find me. That's some diddy shit. You know shit. what? I had to. Then it was like once we got to New York and he found me again. I realized when I told my brothers and I was like, yo, he just found me again, yo. And he over there. They start walking. I was like, oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Before. Before y'all go over here, wait, wait. I'm tripping. I was, I was tripping. I was tripping. I was late. I was late. I did come in the next night because of AO. Yes, I did. He found me because of that. Yes. <laughs> and I realized all the things. I was like, yo, hold on, phone. You're the rookie. Why you think you gonna get the same respect as me? <laughs> I said, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tripping with this car, all these Jerry, all these rapper friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just tripping. I'm like, hold up. You know what, Bert? You you right about that interview. I do got too many rapper friends that I'm hanging around. <laughs> <laughs> I am a basketball player. Bert. <laughs> so, like, the next year, it was funny because I had broke my arm. And um, he was like, yo, can you go on tour overseas? I was like, that's the first time he went. I was like, nah, I can't go. But he was talking, he was like, yo... Let me ask you a question. All the times you said little threatening things, you were serious? I said, no, Burke, I was serious. You got to ask Shane. I was serious. <laughs> I did tell you that, Burke, the form is different. Leave him alone. like. So, and then after that, we really got mad cool because I really realized that he was only moving on a professional page. Right. Yeah. Like, I already realized his background. When I started to realize who he was, and it was like, okay, 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 this is what it is. Yeah. You just want the best for me, and I just want to go out here every night and play ball. Okay, cool. And then when we got down the stand, I told him, like, you stay over there now, and I'm going to stay over here because you crazy. And two crazy people can't be the same close to each other because you different crazy. Like, <laughs> you haul them crazy, and I'm Bronx crazy, and that's not good because Bronx is different. Crazy. <laughs> Haul them in the building. So. <laughs> Not really want no beef. <laughs> but I was an outcast, though. Yep. But did that change after that conversation? Did he market you more? Did he give you more opportunities no. for exposure? No. They uh they took uh twenty thousand off my next contract. That's fucked up. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, he made fines? sure you was no just, just 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 off rip. This is what your next contract gonna be, and I said, "All right, I'm gonna fuck. <laughs> I ain't hearing that in the hood anyway, so fuck it. I'm only <laughs> on the road for motherfucking two months. You listen, okay, no problem. <laughs> it's not a problem. I just know how to be early now. Just <laughs> hang with people that just want to be early too. Like yeah." I'm not going to be hanging out with A.O. Because A.O. wouldn't be living a rock star life. And I thought about that last year. I said, no, nah, not this year. I used to wear, have skateboards with A.O. And scooters with A.O. I, him and Prime, I said, I got to stay with him. I got to go with my gangsters. I got to get back with Maine and Biz and these dudes. <laughs> get back to the mud. <laughs> <laughs> Smokers bus. Smokers bus. <laughs> Got to Hollywood. I started getting late. A.O. like, man, fuck that. Don't worry about that, man. Fuck that, yo. We chilling at the bar. Hey, yo, it's 7 in the fucking morning. <laughs> you know we got practice at 8.30, bro. You know, you got practice at 8.30 for him. I don't. I'm going to sleep. Yeah, he's crazy. Oh. Yeah. Goat status. I'm going to leave you right here at this club. I'm going to get a cab. <laughs> <laughs> Took a cab right back to the hotel. And guess who's out there? The principal. Steve, Steve Burke. Steve Burke. Shout out to Steve Burke, man. He was waiting uh, for you. It was like, I don't even know who woke him up. 
<laughs> like who even told him for? Because and you know what's so funny? We had a, like the rookies had a curfew, so I wasn't there by no curfew. So everybody it was like Hell Spider yeah. and them ain't never go out. So they was always in the room. Professor and them ain't go out. Who was the rookies? Who was considered the rookies at that time? See again, me, Spider, Professor, and Helicopter. So you we right after signed, that? Yeah, yeah. We I was right after all that. signed together. Because when they signed, I was still in school. Right. Word. He still was coming. Like when he leave out of school, coming to play. So, yeah. so basically, all the other rookies was like, "Nah, we ain't going out. We gonna chill." Spider and Burke were formal gym in full every night. Damn. Mm-hmm. Word is more off of that, off of that, off of carrying my bags, inviting them to the privacy. Yeah, He's them two was more him. like really, really like no, ready like, to go at it. Head, like me and was more like, "Yo, I, then I'm like, it's an understanding. I'm sure you ain't gonna thug me. That was my situation. But with Spider and them, it was more like, yo." Yo, go get Burke, yo, because he's serious, yo. Yo, oh, yo, somebody go tell Spider just grab the bag. Oh, you know what? I'm going to just carry the bag because this is getting out of hand. That, yeah. With them two, it was like that. Bro. It was different. After the show yesterday, half and uh, Rise was telling me, Steve had y'all practicing, like, real training camp. And this is what I'm trying to tell no you. I had no idea about that <laughs> this shit. This is what I'm trying to tell you. I had a problem, so it was like I, I came in there different. See, I came in there with Mike. Yeah. Mike yeah. Ellis, our practice was different. Yeah. We playing three on three. Yeah. Like, right? Three like we weave. playing three, we playing little three-man weaves, bull crap, but now we're going three on three. And that's it. Because we ain't have the 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 other six people that's in the open run playing with us. We ain't have yeah. that. So whoever was on our bus traveling to that next city from the opposing team, it. that was it. So we practicing, we chilling. They come in, we do we call it like the Hollywood because they practice after us. So it was like they come in, we was like college, they the NBA, like, there you go. Security walking in, okay, here they go. Okay, <laughs> now we gotta get off the court. Okay. Oh, y'all talking shit to us. All right, we'll see y'all tomorrow. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Yeah. That's how it was, right? Now, I goes on us, I get moved up. I I, I get drafted to the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> I get drafted to the NBA and I go, I, I party like a rock star before a training camp. <laughs> <laughs> I come in there a little overweight and I'm looking at them like, yeah, it was the same thing me and Mike was doing over. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, ho, ho, ho. You said seven three man weaves. <laughs> Just go up and come right back down? No. So you're saying we got to keep doing yep. this? And three passes? The first practice I went in the locker room, right? I was shaking. I was like, <sighs> and one here is form. Come on, I thought you gotta go to the bathroom. I'm like, damn. damn. <laughs> I feel like I had to throw up. God damn. My stomach's turning, my head's hurting. I'm like, yo, this man is crazy. I said, no, you know what? I think I got a shit. <laughs> so I, sit, I sit on the toilet. I'm like, no, I don't got a shit. What the fuck is going on? To a point where, when they came in, I just broke their crap. I said, ah, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I'm having a heart attack. He was like, yo, calm down, calm down, calm down. Yo, practice over for you. I was like, <laughs> yo, got to the hotel. I was like, yo, this is how y'all practice? It was like, yeah, broke half is a practice all I said, yo, half. Listen, man. <laughs> I need Octane to train me on the bus to the next city, to the next city, to the next city. So we on the bus, I'm like, Oct, just make me do whatever. Hold my legs and let me do crunches and all that. <laughs> we get to the city. I'm like, yo, I, I know what to do. Hey, Bert, yo, come to my room. What you want? Just come to my room, Bert. All right, man. Give me a minute, man. I'm dealing with some real people over here. It was called us the fake rules. So. <laughs> come to my room. I'm like, yo, Bert. Yo, I got some weed. You want to smoke with me? He like, yeah, come on. Yeah, shit. You my man, yeah, Farm. He said, man, Farm, you know what? That's Bert. I really, before I ain't like you. I like you now, Farm. I yeah. like you. I said, yo, Bert, look. I'm a little bit out of shape. <laughs> we know that. But that seven? <laughs> Bro, he said... Is you first of all, are you all right? Is your health all right? Are you all right? You're better? Because you almost died last time. You're right. I said, man, you it was just cause you had me running like that. I ain't run like that before. So then I think he was just like, all right, you know what? I'ma make you do 10 suicides on the side. Don't do the three-man weed for like two, three practices. I'm doing it. 
to a point where now I'm like, okay, got that I got it. Yeah, it was like, okay, I got it. So now as I'm going, Escalator's over there having oh, a hard time. Dude. So I'm going, oh, yes, he's off of me now. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, he's off of me. I'm like, yeah, S, you got to run fast, S. You got to run. Yo, S, you got to stop jogging, yo. Yo, S, I'm telling you, Burke is going to, all right, yo, all right. Stop telling him your ankles is hurting. You, you sprung your ankle. You ain't sprung your ankle, Escalator. Don't tell him you sprung your ankle, yo. You got to run, bro. Farm, shut the fuck up and get out of my face. All right, all right, all right. God rest the day, man. R.I.P., man. Yo, yo, S, yo, S, I'm telling you. You gotta run. As I told you, you gotta run, S. I told you, I told you, because he's been doing this to me for about three weeks now. <laughs> I'm telling you, you, you're not going to get in the game, S. Sure enough. <laughs> what? He, he ain't getting in the game. Who, S, didn't get in the game? No. God rest the day, man. This <laughs> I wish S was here right now. I, I was S for a bodyguard for like five <laughs> plane rides, right? <laughs> Every time we got to the airport, it was just like me and Escalade flying out. And the lady, I'd be like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Get him by, excuse me, excuse me. The lady said, excuse me, sir, you cannot be his bodyguard. He, <laughs> 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 said, he have to be your bodyguard. There's no way you could be his bodyguard. I said, yeah, I'm his bodyguard. I'm his bodyguard. Mind you, he's 6'10". I'm 5'7". I'm like, yeah, I'm his bodyguard. We get yes. through. We get through. We get on a plane. It was a small plane. The lady says, "Sir, I don't, I don't want to be disrespectful, <laughs> but you have to sit over there, and we're just gonna have everybody come sit on this side of the plane, and we're just gonna balance it out." <laughs> <laughs> I said, S, "Don't feel bad, man." Right. <laughs> At least she said. He said. No, but miss, you didn't have to say it all nice. Like, you didn't have to be like, you said it with real respect. It's okay. I know I'm big. And then, <laughs> you come to me without the seatbelt and try to hand it off to me like nobody ain't going to look. Ma'am, I know I need an extra seatbelt. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So Ass couldn't go overseas no more because they were saying we play with two, two, plain, two plain seats for them no more. So Bro, you bullshit. <laughs> No cap. For real. They said, no, we ain't doing that no more. We ain't playing for two um, seats for them. All cheap motherfuckers. What the fuck? No, hey, was no. Expensive, it, 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 two plain seats. <laughs> two overseas? people and there's only one. You just missed out on another 24,000. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. 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 God bless. God that's where you know, really know what's up. He know what's up. That's my man. That's Bro, my man. you... So, I, so many, so many memories, man. What, mm -hmm. what's like one of your most memorable, you know, like accolades on tour? Like it could be from hooping to seeing something to buying something. When was you like life change, bro? Life different. Like what? Right. Oh, when my mom went into the garden and saw Ooh. me play. Dope. Yeah, that's it. Shut dope. it. I had my whole family there. Six no, like, no, no, no. Like, the bloods ain't come. They ain't come. There. <laughs> I, I had to give it to my family. Some of them bloods, though, but no, nah, it was really like my whole family in there. So it was like more dope because it was so crazy because my family had a, ve um, a family ve uh, reunion the week before we came to New York. I didn't go. So I just gave them all the tickets that was there to just come to the garden. So she saw that, my mom told she was more like, like my aunt said them is there. And when they got home, she called them like they wasn't there. And told them like, yeah, did you see my baby? That's dope. Did, did you see him? So it was like, and then it was like the garden, I always shut it down the garden. Yeah, and that's, and that's, you know, I'm that's, talking about, it was like, it don't even, it wasn't even N one. I'm talking about EBC games at Rucker. Yeah. I mean at um the Master Square Garden. Yeah. Took um white chocolate jersey off in there. So it was like in Master Square Garden every time, and I never lost a game in Master Square Garden. From the opposing team to the the original team, I never lost a game. Yeah. That's 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 the Mecca. Yeah, that's know, a legendary you know, floor. That's between a good, between, you know. between Rucker and the Garden. But nah, the Garden yeah. is so real because yeah. I'm not gonna lie. When I was in the locker room, I'm gonna be real. No. And in 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 Chicago. Tell them who 
Chicago. Tell them who your pops is. Yeah, because you know my dad is Michael Jordan. <laughs> like, elaborate on that, bro. Why y'all laugh? <laughs> this he's dead ass. What's my jersey number? Twenty three. Twenty three, right? Right. See, like my dad, Mike. My dad, I call him. I call him. Dad, y'all call him Mike. It was <laughs> the goat. That's what y'all call him, the goat. Yeah. I call yeah. him like dad. So my dad, Poppy, dad, <laughs> father, <laughs> like he he really been in my life since a since a youngin'. Like he really been there for me. Like in the world for me. Like he wasn't there for me, but he was, he was in there the world. for you. Yeah, yeah, he was there for me. Yeah. Cause a lot of like my moves really came from him. I used to really jump high because of my dad. I got my hops from my dad <laughs> and my height. Like, yeah, y'all don't think he could form used to jump? And they don't even know I'm 6'1". Nah, they don't. No. They don't know that? Nah, they don't. <laughs> they not? You remember? <laughs> Nigga said, my Remember Jordan, I used to tell dad, people bro. I'm six feet? Yeah. But, like, I grew. But, for real, I did grow. Nah, I, no, this, I don't tell nobody else who my pops is, but pop, my pops is Jordan, for real. This ain't no joke. Y'all laughing, but I tell people, anybody. I told my, that, who supposed to be? <laughs> who your pop, pops supposed to be? Yeah. You told them Jordan was your real pop? Yeah. Let me tell said? you how the story went. <laughs> I said, I called them. I said, yo, look. The last time I saw you was at the funeral of somebody. Such, such. I said, you in North Carolina. And I was like, you know, you know Michael Jordan is my real dad, right? So he was like, huh? I said, yeah. Michael Jordan is my real father. Him and my mother got the same birthday. So I'm like, yeah, the two twins, yeah. They had sex and had me. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga crazy. So why he not taking care of you? Why he not taking care of you? I said, because he busy playing in the league. <laughs> <laughs> and we ain't really talk like that. That, that. that sucked, bro. No, it was real life. That was the best part of my life. Letting people know Michael Jordan's my dad. For real. Y'all laughing. <laughs> like, they think I'm joking, though. I know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Right? They don't believe that. I've been telling them shit all week. They don't, don't believe, believe it. They don't believe it till y'all come in this spot. I believe it. We don't believe none of that. I'm gonna tell you, I met, I saw him right. My dad, MJ, and Charlotte in their practice facility with Ben Gordon. Right. So this is what happened. Shout out to BG. Shout man. out to my brother. Shout out to Ben. Ben Gordon. We going to practice. <laughs> this is a funny story too, because supposed to be my dad, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> wait. So as we walking in, I'm like, yo, bro, who caused that over there? Because it was like it was like one car in the back. So he's like, oh, that's that's MJ car. I'm thinking he's talking about something like one of the players on the team. Yeah. So now as I'm going in, I <clears> see <throat> all the players got their name on the wall or they, where they parked their cars at. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, oh, oh, they go Kimbo joint right here, Kimbo Park right here. Oh, okay. So as we get in the locker room, I'm looking for the person that parked that car back there. Like, that was a fly car, and I don't know what it is. It was just two little coupe fly. I'm walking in the locker room looking like, who's MJ? <laughs> <laughs> who's MJ? Yo, BG, who car was that back there? Oh, bro, I told you that was MJ car. As he's walking, we get on the court. So... I see some people, like, they got, like, a little restaurant in there, so I see some people up here. So I just keep looking up. We passing the ball. We shooting, looking up. So he was like, so BG did this. Like, yo, MJ. So when he said MJ, I was like, this the person, MJ, with the car. Yeah. So who? <laughs> <laughs> I looked up again. I said, I act like, first of all, one, my dad know me, right? <laughs> so when I looked up, I was like. <laughs> but he just turned his head. And I was like, I got, I was close. I was close. Like, I was like, I'm not going to be mad at him that he ain't waved to me. 
because he really don't know who like that pharmacist down there. He just probably just thinking somebody like. <laughs> so I'm just like he he know who pharmacist is like you know. So one day I met his son at his school. Right, I did a game at his son's school. The so one. in Chicago. Yeah. So when I um when I um was in the back, he was coming out. I'm like, who the hell was I with while I was in Chicago at his game at the school? But I stopped him. He like oh. Yo, you the one that took House of Jersey, right? I said, oh, you don't know I'm your big brother. <laughs> <laughs> What'd he say, bro? He was like, huh? I said, yeah, you don't know I'm your big brother. I'm your, yeah, I'm your big brother. You just don't know I'm, your pops is my pops. He ain't cheat on nobody, though, so don't go home and tell nobody. <laughs> He's like, oh, word, yeah, I get that all the time. I said, no, you don't get that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> This is for real. Everything else is fake. <laughs> It was like so real. I said, if I ever meet them again, like his his son or whatever, get a chance to meet Jordan, I'm gonna really tell him like, yo, you know, you my my pops, like for real, for real. So, dad, <laughs> if you get a chance to see this mixtape story, <laughs> so way somehow. No, I'm not. I, I'm I'm not homeless, okay, but. Whatever you can do <laughs> can help out. A lot, <laughs> more than a lot, <laughs> more than a lot, a lot. <laughs> He's stupid. That's just. I need a bag. <laughs> He's stupid. Last man. check I caught was from the UPS guy with M1. <laughs> <laughs> right, look, Ross came in town. We drove, we drove up to my block. Right, the UPS truck drove by. Ross said, "Hey guys, y'all remember that truck? <laughs> Why the guy come out and go?" Oh, Shane the Dribble Machine, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> he said, yeah, the pharmacist, right? He said, yeah. He said, hi, Rise, yeah. <laughs> This was like three days ago. He said, yeah. What y'all doing? Y'all started setting back up already? I said, what's going on? I said, nah, we just going to my crib. My friend crib. <laughs> we walked in. <laughs> he said, okay. Got in the truck. I said, come on, let's go see this guy. <laughs> <laughs> back to the block again. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Yo, man, we, you know, I got a question with, uh, you know, at the height of the, at the height of the tour, you know, it was, it was, you know, I don't know if it was a rumor or whatever that, you know, the NBA players had a beef with the N1 players, you know, uh, Can you kind of talk about that? Was it was it kind of a beef or was it kind of because because what I was saying what, what we were talking about is you know when you younger everybody's dream is to play in the league now for whatever reason you don't make it you don't know but when you playing ball when you start off everybody won't make it to the league and uh, you know some people were saying that if you start off in street ball you made it to the league okay your street ball credibility is gone it's gone right so I don't you know I, I don't I don't really know about that I remember. Know? A couple of times. Uh, we had a couple of guys. First of all, we had a lot of NBA guys that was on and one at a time. Yeah, yeah. Where you could have had the NBA guys and the and one guys play together. Like, play against each other in the arena. Like, yeah. that's how much we had. We had, like, over 100 M NBA yeah. guys at one point. At one time, 40% of the league was league wearing and one With, with ones, no deal, right? too. Yeah, right. this so, one to be part of it. Yeah. I remember... Um, certain cities we'd come in and the guys that was from that city, like that was representing and one, like come on and play. So we only had like Ricky Davis, um, Mike Jones, um, Mike Hughes. James, is his name? Mike, Mike James. James. Mike James. Larry Hughes. Larry Hughes. Yeah, Ooh. Speedy But too. We only had like a couple of guys that really those are guys that you could really say that's dogs. Yeah. And I'm not gonna take nothing for Marbury, but he really like shitting on us, like Ooh. Like he really shitted on us. Like Marbury, I used to watch. I used to see Marbury <clears throat> in the city, and I used to talk to him like, cause he knew I was down with N One and shit like that. Yeah. So I see him, and he'd be having like mad Nike shit on. Mm. So I'm like, yo, bro, how can you wear Nikes, bro? And I got these N Ones on, bro. Like, what you doing? You doing something wrong? And that's when he was signed with N One. Yeah, I'm like, you mm. doing something wrong? So the next time I saw him. He had on like Jordan socks, like Tim's on. I'm going, yo, bro, I can't wear none of this stuff. That I want, I want to wear this stuff, and I know you on a real contract because your check is eighty thousand a month. I heard. 
that's the people's salary for the year, Marbury. Yeah. And one time I was like, yo, bro, why don't you come out and play play with us one game? Skip out here. Skip play with us. One. Like, man, I ain't going out there with y'all fucking around with y'all street bowlers. Wow. So I was like. He is a street baller, though. What? Jeez. I'm going. Coney Island, Brooklyn. What the hell? He is a street baller. Yeah, that's crazy. So I was with Clue. Clue was like. I know he didn't just say that. I was like, yo, bro, he did just say that. So he come to Rucker every summer, though. I'm like, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. I'm like, yo, bro, mm. you just, you and your brother just pulled up to Rucker and to go Bentley to play. Yeah. And I'm going, the company that's paying you, you're not going to come out and play on the tour? He really said, no, nah, I'm not playing with y'all. And it's the Coney Island, like, when that yeah. shit was. And then when he came to, he came to the game. He had Tim's on at the game, in the garden. Wow. With Nike socks on. That's at crazy. the garden. I didn't know he, like, that would have been the last name out of all the NBA dudes that I would have expected you, like, you would have said that. No, nah, for real. Yeah, I mean, he was the first one to have a signature shoe. Right. And one for, he was the face and one. He's the face of joint. You're not and just talking one. about a basketball player. He's somebody the one from that New York. Really, that was the one that really, really, right. really, really right. didn't give two shits about and one. <clears throat> That's good. You think it was just I the heard money? No, nah, he's getting good money. Yeah, I'm saying like, Shit. why you think that is? Cause he just, it was just more of, he it wasn't joining on Nike. That's Any crazy. kid growing up and all that, you know, we want to join Nike or it's Adidas or Reebok, sure. whatnot. You get know what I mean? But if you got the opportunity where a brand gonna get behind you and you the face of it, it can build it. So what happened? It's so real, what? and it's crazy because I remember when An ones first came out. I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I'm like, what the cold, I'm like, bro. what the fuck is this? His yeah. shoes crazy. So I'm like. Marbury got shit. I'm like, man, I don't even, Marbury not even on the New York team. I'm not wearing yeah. these shit, so I don't give a fuck about them. Then when one time I had picked them on, it was like some somehow I got a pair of ones. And I picked them on, I was like, yo, these are like, comfortable. Like, these, yeah. why people be shitting on these sneakers? Like, because they don't cost a hundred or something dollars, like the, yeah. all the other sneakers and all that. Yeah. So then later on, the tapes start coming out, and I'm going, oh. Now you could wear these sneakers. It's fun to wear these sneakers. Nobody could talk to it you because cool. it's a mixtape out. It was yeah. cool then. We yeah. watched, this is basketball. So it was like, and then it came from there. Like, it was New York dudes who felt comfortable now in the way and ones. And yeah. then when, like, us, people from our neighborhood, we wearing and ones, oh, I need a pair. Yeah. I, yo, I need a pair. Oh, yo, I want, I'm going out to go buy me some pair of and ones. Uh, I used to, I remember I, when I signed with N1 and I didn't even get my, my community sneakers. You said you didn't. No. <laughs> but I saw over 50 kids with N1 shoes the year I signed for my neighborhood. Because that's, that's what we were saying that, you know, the mixtape guys, a kid can connect more. Because like you said, they saw right you there. They saw you in the park right there. Then they saw you on Accessible, TV. Right? Yeah. And then thing about it, like you said, you ain't, you came right back came to the right back to so the like, hood, yeah. okay. So they, yeah. can, they can relate to that. So it was really that. like, yeah. yeah, it was really more like, yo, oh, Farm got those and ones yep. on. Yep. I'm going I'm to go, I'm going to go get those. And, and kids was really going to go do that. Yep. Like even when they gave us our own signature shoe, they was mad that they couldn't get my shoe with my name on it. Yeah. Like, yo, I want the one with your name on it. I'm like, nah, they only made it for the players. And like, nah, they need to make it. Like a lot of kids. So I was like, I used to tell, even when like, I was like the one with like the do-rags. They, I'm like, yo, why don't y'all pick out me some do-rags? When I first saw I'm like, I want you always had a black do-rag do-rag like, on. Pick me out some do-rags and just put N1 on the, on the logo on yeah. the back of it. Or, yeah. They ain't do it. <laughs> So you said that about basketball players. I've, I imagine you were super cool with some of the rappers and the music artists that was on tour. Yeah. Like, who were some of those dudes you was kicking it with like that? Everybody. So I went in, like, Joel's and them. Those my dudes. Like, that's, like, family. Joel Santana, Dipset, the locks and all that. That's dudes my hood. So, like, Jadakiss, I knew him since I was 10 years old, like, 10, 11 years old. To this day, I know him, like. He'd tell you, like, nah, this the hook is my brother. Like, he don't say for him. So Very he similar, him. like. He called me yeah. hook. Like, yeah, so. Um, Low C's, mega cool with him. Like, that's my, we call each other twins. Like, his mom called him, like, that's his, like, she'd be like, yeah, that's C's little brother right there. Beanie Siegel, that's my dude. Like, heavy, fab. It was, then it was like, the dudes I was on tour was like, 
uh, benzene on them. It was like they adapt to me because I was the one that was always vibing. Like I was always in my vibe. Like so they was always on that vibe. Like then E forty when they all met me, it was like we know main in them, but like nah. We want to chill with form. <laughs> like, yeah. we want to chill with form. So it was like, even when I was in like Oakland and like the dudes from Oakland, like Black and all, um, Fab and all that, them dudes, I had them, I had them at the open run with all the Ferraris and the Lambos, Lamborghinis and all that at the open run and doing the, um, the car show that we had in Oakland. Mm-hmm. We had a car show in Oakland and they brought their cars out and they like, yo, you really know all these rappers? I'm like, no, I don't know them. They know me. <laughs> <laughs> they just adapt to me when I meet them. They're like, yo, bro, like, yo, like, yo, we see you serious out there. Like, yeah. they could see, like, the street. You was a street dude. They saw the street in me on the court. Like, they saw it all. Like, Beanie Siegel was at Rucker. And he, he, he was getting, he was getting ready to, they, they were starting talking to him. He was like, well, hold on. And I see him because I'm looking at him. I'm going, oh shit, Beanie Siegel here. He's looking at me, going, "Your pharmacist." And I'm like, "Yeah, Beanie is me. What's up?" <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "Pharmacist." I'm like, "Yeah, Beanie. What's up? It's me." He's like, "Come here." I'm like, "Yo, he really want me to go over there?" <laughs> My man, like, "Yeah, nigga, come on, let's go over there." So I go over there. He's like, "Yo, bro." Yo, you remind me of me, dog. Yo, you look, and I'm like, bro, you know people who say I look like you too. <laughs> he like, yeah. <laughs> oh snap, I ain't really looked it. Yeah. He's like, yo, when y'all come to Philly, call me, bro. Come fuck with me. But he not knowing. That was like a week later. We had mini camp in Philly for like a week or two. I was just out with beans every night. <laughs> had a state property chain on and everything. I'm in the office with the big state right, a big state property chain on. And in Paoli. The middle, in the middle of the office, like this joint dingling on the table. Like <laughs> I wanna state property. I'm letting y'all know that right now. If y'all mess Give with me, money, I'm talking about, I said, y'all mess with me, I'm calling beans and he pulling up. I had beans in the one office. It's a state property chain. That's what and good. went to the spot. He freestyled for us for like 15 minutes. That's the shit that I wish I could have saw. That's crazy. 15 minutes of freestyle that nobody ever heard. Classic. He let us hear it first. That's crazy. Before the streets heard it, bro. That's crazy. That's and so crazy. who had the better weed, the rappers or the mixtape players? The mixtape players. Thank you. <laughs> Smokers bus. <laughs> I mean, like. That's a no. fact. Yo, you know what's so crazy? It's so Bags crazy. Of because that shit. It was like rappers have mad pounds of weed. It was like, we ain't have no pounds. Right. We had what we had to right now to the next city. To the, yeah. When we get to the next city, city we're going to re-up. We're gonna re-up. <laughs> Let me get 300 from you. Let me get 300 yep. from you. Oh, you smoke too? Yeah, you the bus driver. Let's get 300 from you. <laughs> Uncle Donnie. Okay. We oh, Uncle Karen, Donnie. Oh, security. Let me get 300 from you. And we all have the... Now, here go your 300. Go in your bunk. Here go your yep. 300. Here go your three. Everybody got their own portion. Once you put it... Don't come knocking on my door. <laughs> don't no 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 no. You got yours. Yo, you want to go party and uh? Don't you know who was the favorite to save their weed? Who? TJ. Uh, he uh, saved it. There. What? He'd go in his bunk and close the curtain <laughs> and be sitting there, but his foot would be out rocking. And I open his crown, like yo, bro. So you just gonna smoke your? Hey, farm man. Hey man. Listen, my shit. I got my own shit. You got your own shit. Close my curtain, bro. Y'all go back there in the back. <laughs> it, was like, it was like, yo, I bust. It was like, yo, leave them alone. And it was so weird because I used to be like, yo, these people about to come on the bus and talk to us about what we about to do, go do a, vi- a TV interview or a radio, and I'm going, they don't know I'm high. Shit. <laughs> you know, I'm too fucking young to be doing this shit. <laughs> they, and, then, and then they wonder, right? I have people like, Yo, why you missing layups? And I'm going, I ain't missed the layups. It went into me. <laughs> <laughs> I know every layup I miss and why I miss. And they're like, why you miss? I said, because, all right, that play right there, the reason why I took the dude's shirt off and when I threw it between his legs, you didn't see that guy come and help out and I tripped over his foot and I threw the ball up and somehow he came and dunked it and it looked like the play, but he tripped me. So what happened to the next play? 
The next play I missed because I saw him come in again. I said, oh, he's coming, so let me throw him the oop. But I laid it off the backboard the wrong way. I was high. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yo, I was 18 years old. What do, what y'all expect? I said, yo, I'm... I see, I'm riding on the bus with all these dudes, man. And I'm talking about, I'm coming from, we're going from one city to the next city, 14 hours. And I'm going, yo, y'all don't go to sleep? No, not yet. So what time What time do y'all go to sleep? Well, you could take your little ass in the bunk and go to sleep. <laughs> oh, see, that's when y'all not going to do that. Now I'm going to stay up. Come on, Roz. Let's go in the back. <laughs> and we're going we're gonna to chill with them. To Shane like, yo, take y'all little asses to the front and go to bed. Like, what's wrong with y'all? Go in the front with Uncle Donnie. Go in the Donnie. front with Uncle Donnie. Me and Roz go to the front with Uncle Donnie. We sitting up there with the bus driver. The bus Burning, driver. right? Smoking Uncle with Donnie the bus driver. Burned. He said he was doing yeah. it. Yeah. Smoking, with, smoking with the bus driver. <laughs> <laughs> smoking with the bus driver. And I remember one city, I was like, yo, Uncle Donnie, yo, just wake me up before we get there because I'm going to sleep right here up here with you. He said, no problem, pharmacist. <laughs> you Go ahead, buddy. Go to sleep. I got you. <laughs> he had a break. I went scared. I went on the floor to dress. I said, Uncle Donnie, are you okay? You high? He said, no. I'm a little high. <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a little high. Got, he said, oh, y'all got some shit in that last city. <laughs> I said, I ain't gonna tell nobody this shit, but God damn it, Uncle Donnie. I'm going to my bed now, man. Yeah, yeah. Uncle nah, Donnie. funny, Uncle Donnie is the worst. That's Shout true. out to Uncle Donnie. Shout man. out to Uncle Donnie. So, question. An angry man. Who, who's angry man? Security. Security. Uh, like, farm. Farm, I ain't. Angry these, man. these motherfuckers, angry man. man. Angry man is so smart, he's dumb. <laughs> Don't you hate Dead motherfuckers dog. like that? Like, he's so smart, he's <laughs> dumb. <laughs> like, he's so smart that he knows where to get the weed from. But he's so dumb. That he don't know the price of the shit. <laughs> Shane, so we like, we like Shane yo, Uncle Donnie, yo, this shit. No, we like yo, 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 angry man, this shit six hundred dollars. A three five. He brought everybody we with his money, and we, he be like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got mine, Jack. We like, no, we got you, Jack. <laughs> He was like, huh, shit, I don't give a fuck. I just smoke my shit. I got my shit. I don't that's, give a fuck. that's a good shit, that's Fog. Good shit. That's a good shit. That's a good shit, Fog. That's what it goes. That's crazy. <laughs> nah, we got some. Listen. I want to cool. know what happened if you fell asleep on that bus. Oh, no. They, you, 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 you was good. Prank. Sometimes you Some get pranked. Shane was always. Shane, Shane was, always did that Shane shit. did the pranks before you leave. That was never while we was on the road. While we was on the road, I do the pranks. Yeah. What did you do? Like. <laughs> one city, one city we stopped. I had the whole fight. The, I had the whole gas station down there on smoke. Cause I started smoke, smoke bomb. bombs inside the gas station, like inside the store. <laughs> so it was like we had bus walls. So it was like yeah, uh, the bus. We got beef, like in our bus. So it's like we start at the arena. Everybody eat, yeah. And you be looking, and you would see a dude be like this. Yo, come on, hold up. He, they getting up. Come on, pack up, pack up, get to our bus. They can't get on our bus because they could do whatever. It's war. Yeah, like yeah. We really have bus war. So it was like, man, one city was like, yo, we're going to get eggs. We're going to get all this stuff. We was in the middle of the parking lot throwing eggs. The whole, every bus was fucked up. I'm yeah. talking about <laughs> fucked up. Eggs everywhere. Dudes get smashed in their heads. The fans that was outside waiting for us for autographs, hit getting too. hit in their head. <laughs> they picking up shit, throwing it, and telling them, they didn't go right there. Doug, they didn't go right there. Yo, so now we get to one city, and I'm like, oh, oh. See, there you go again. I came back with my street shit. It was like, oh, did he go? Yeah, yeah. Y'all threw the eggs on my bus, right? All right. I got something for y'all. I got something for y'all. They all, every, mind you, we all took about like a seven hour drive. Everybody's still waking up, but me, I'm still live. They're like, Fawn, what are you talking about, man? We see y'all tomorrow at the arena and all that. They buying snacks. No, it's war. <laughs> y'all think I'm playing? I had, the, I had a pack of smoke bones. I just popped them on like this. What is that? They go, what is that? What is that? They looked at me. I'm like, oh, yo, y'all throwing smoke bombs in here? <laughs> oh. Then the lady, 
is on them now. What do y'all guys do? Nobody from my bus is on there. So now once I get on the bus, it's go time. Yeah, we out. We out. So they the still cops there. come and stop them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the cops come and stop them to a point where they snitch and said, "No, it's the it's the next bus up." So they said, "Hey, I'm letting y'all know right now. <laughs> <laughs> the police is about to meet y'all at the next gas station. <laughs> so whatever y'all do, just throw everything away." I said, "Man, angry man, you are security. They can't come on a bus. You better you better handle them, angry man. Like." Shit. <laughs> them motherfucking crackers come on this bus with their guns out for them. You better take your ass off this bus. <laughs> I said, I'm not rolling with no gangsters on this bus. <laughs> this is not a gangster bus now. This is a, They is snitching. Now the police, they is about to snitch your old fall. We get to the next city. And somehow we get to the hotel. So I'm thinking, okay, police going to come, whatever, whatever, whatever. So we get there. The AO just came over my head and hit me with like an egg or something. I'm like, oh, yes, it's war again. Thank you. There's no police out here. Flower pot on AO, boom. That's <laughs> and I picked fun AO times, up. man. I picked AO up and threw me the flower pot. He said, well, I heard my fucking back. Why the fuck is <laughs> He said, Fall, you're fucking strong ass. What the fuck, man? You're in my fucking back, man. God damn, man. Move, move, move. Just like this. It's all just like, just too. like him. Shit, man. Get the fuck out of here, Fall. You fucking get on my... F- Yo, what the fuck is wrong with you, Fall? <laughs> you too strong. <laughs> I said, shit. You hurt my fucking back. <laughs> That's crazy. Shout dude. out to A.O., man. Sound like y'all had some great times. You know what's funny? Man. The first day I met A.O., he took up for me. Really? Yo, Ayo took up for everybody, bro. No, that's what he paid like. for every. No. That's why he broke now. He paid for, for everybody's shit. Yo, bro. if you at the ball, he paid for your shit. Him and Spider's gonna pay for your shit. There, what the I ball, tell you, bro. He what? did that shit. Was in Philly Him a couple weeks Spider ago. Him and Spider will pay that for all your drinks it. at the ball. He just first of all, I ain't see Ayo physically and Facetime him or whatever in probably seven, eight years. The first bro. thing he said was, "I don't care for him." When we get to Seattle, I mean uh, San Antonio, you buying all the liquor? I said. Hi, Ayo. <laughs> Raza, take your phone back. I don't know what's wrong with that guy. He's tripping. He's still tripping. <laughs> he still think we're on a tour. He's tripping. <laughs> I'm not getting in trouble for you, buddy. <laughs> I go home to mine's every day. Hey, Ayo, nice to meet you, buddy. But I'm not dealing with you no more. Ayo, I'm not wow, young for him. Now, Ayo's still the same. He looked at me in the camera and I saw his face. I said, yep, there go that puff look. He looked like Puffy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all his bullshit. <laughs> Yo, that, hey, I mean, my guy. y'all had some dope times on tour, man. But one of the questions I like asking, too, is because, you know, like they said, a lot of the guys, you know, it was I don't know if it was a beef or whatever with NBA dudes. But if you was out on tour back in the height of the tour and you get a call from the New York Knicks and they say, yo, we got a roster spot. Okay. saw his eyes glisten. What you going to do? You ain't even got to say. Go ahead. What you going to do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna tell you that story. Let <laughs> me tell you how. Let me tell you, no, no, for real. Let me tell you some real shit, right? Look, my daughter was, my daughter just got, no, no, yeah, my daughter just got born. And I'm still in high school. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck to do. I'm still waiting. Because it's so funny, two years I've been traveling with Maine and Shane and doing games. I'm like, well, when is and one gonna come? Like, I've been waiting two years. You know what? Ain't nothing gonna happen. You know what? I'm gonna go sell drugs. I went to go meet my man. He gave me about like $4,000 worth of drugs. By the time I made it back to my house, I'm like, yo, I don't even know what to do with this. So I went to go get one person new drugs. I said, look, if you could just get people to come to me, <laughs> I'll give it to you for free. Just get people to come to me. I give it to you for free. And it was so weird, right? Look, the first person that he brought to me, right? I'm going, nah, they look like they're going to sell their family stuff. I don't want to deal with them. He like, what do you mean? I said, nah, they look like they're going to sell their family stuff. I don't want to deal with them. He brought somebody else to me. I said, nah, man, you know what? I don't think I could do this. He like, yo, hold on. Because he want to get high. So he goes, hold up. You told me if I bring somebody to you, you're going to give me stuff for free. 
my phone rings. And I'm going, yeah, yeah, all right, hold on, hold on. To Philadelphia number. No well, hello? Hey, Farm. Oh, this sounds like one of them calls. Hey, what's up? <laughs> this is this is Ron. I'm on the phone with Mo Elroy. Oh, what's up, y'all? What's going on? Yeah, we're going to send you over your contract. Okay, no problem. All right. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. All right. Bye. I'm done selling drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I went right back to my man crib. Right to the plug, Look, bro. I said, yo, bro, here. I ain't touch it. I ain't selling. He said, you ain't selling. Nothing. I said, no. Nah. He said, what happened? I said, I just got my call from A1. I ain't got selling drugs. I'm done. I'm good. He said, you sure? I'm sure. I was just trying to take care of my daughter. I ain't have to take care. I'm good. I'm all right. Leave me alone. I'm going to wait for a week. <laughs> With that question, what you said. If they would have called and told me, hey, we got a spot for you, 10-day contract, whatever. Uh. A and one, look, look. <laughs> I appreciate everything y'all did. For me. I love to thank the organization. I love to thank the fans and the staffs. I love to thank everybody that was behind the scenes that worked on our uniforms and our shirts and all that. I like to thank everybody, but um, I'm taking my talent to Master Square Garden. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong I'm with out. that. He said for I'm a out. ten day too. Ain't ten nothing day. wrong with that. Matter of fact, toes. Try out. <laughs> It's over with. I'm out. Because I know I'll once I get there, it's a wrap. Yep. If, it's a wrap. If I can get Farm to buy in. Can, that's like like my man uh, Lamont told Raza. Shout out to Lamont, man. Oh, man. He said, Farm, I ain't got to tell him nothing. He got it. But Raza, <laughs> if I could just get you to buy in <laughs> just a little bit. It's going to be enough warm milk for everybody. everybody. <laughs> I said, I said, wait, what's enough enough warm milk? What would that mean? Yeah, what the fuck does that even mean? I said, mean, what did that mean? He said, just know it means something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Two games go by. He like, listen, y'all been playing good, man. We won every, all the games. I'm going to take y'all out to go get something to eat. <sighs> I'm going to take you to McDonald's. That's cheap ass. Motherfucker took us to Wendy's. Wendy's. Yeah. <laughs> Not even McDonald's. He said, Rise, I got, he said, look, he said, Rise Rise, I got you. I got you. I got you. Get whatever you want. Whatever you want. I'm like, I'm looking at him. I'm like, damn, we finna go to the roof, Chris. It's, we shut it. We start driving. When we pull over, we was like, where we going? So we like, I know he ain't bringing to no, this damn Wendy's. I got you, Rise. Don't worry about it. The nigga ordered a side salad, <laughs> chicken no, nugget. No, 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 no. The dollar nugget. He said. The dollar nugget. Like, he Listen. ordered, though. He went to, he said, <laughs> let me get four dollar nuggets. For us. He let ordered our get, food for us. Let me get right, four listen. Julia burgers. So we're going, oh, that's what he's eating? He said, Rise, you can go fancy. Get him a Frosty, too. <laughs> I said, I'm out of here. It's over with. Yeah. Well, I said, Fall, we could have ate this on our own. I thought we was going to go eat somewhere fancy or whatnot. Man, I ain't got time for this. Canavan motherfucker. <laughs> Bro, that nigga picked me up from the airport one time, said, I'm going to take you to get something to eat. Bro, that nigga took me to the deli and made me get a half sandwich. Literally. A half sandwich? A half sandwich, bro. Not the whole. whole. No, a half. Yo, we called said, this some, a cheap motherfucker, dog. Yo, we called him one day, right, or three-way. Or three so he's like, <laughs> he's like, yo, let's call Lamont. Because we, I think we was getting ready to go to some city. So we like, yo, let's call Lamont. Something. Tell him. Because that was like a point where it was like a little beat, like, not even people, like arguments or whatnot, mm -hmm. where it was like, with the coaches and whatnot. So it was like, all right, me and Roz was like, yo, you know what? We telling them we're not going. If all this bullshit going on, we ain't going, whatever. So they like, nah, y'all going, nah, nah, nah. Whatever it is, like, let's figure it out. We going, we need y'all too. So we called them, we like, yo, Lamont. He, he like, yeah, yeah. What y'all need? What, I'm what on another line what right what now. What y'all need, man? What y'all need? So Roz go, Lamont, you know what? Fuck it. We ain't coming on tour. Yeah, hung up on his ass. But as he hang up, he goes, Raza, Raza, <laughs> wait, Raza. <laughs> <laughs> 
So he ain't gonna be calls. He calls us back. He goes, man, what's what's going on? What y'all what y'all want? You know, you know, man, I, I was just on the phone. I apologize. Whatever he said, it was just like, yo, Roz, man. We good. It's, this is the funniest. This dude is funny, man. It, <laughs> yo, it was all love, man. Dog. Yo, we got the one of the, you know, last questions we always ask guys is. You know, a lot of people are throwing this title legends. A lot of guys are saying they're legends. They're, you know, I don't know if they naming themselves legends or what, but what what is your definition of a street ball legend? Is it how many parks you dominate, how many chips you win, how many you dominate in your city if you dominate, you know, what what would be your definition of legend? And then after you answer that, when we when, when we we always ask You're the talking. last question is Name your top your ten top street ten. bowels. But first, you know, what, what what's your definition of a legend? Yeah. Dude that that's really like pinning the pain in their city. Not only pinning the pain in their city, but the dude that's pinning the pain in every city they go to. Or every little neighborhood they go to, they like, yo, that dude is like he killed. Or when he didn't show up. And the other people lost, and they were like, yeah, we lost because we didn't have such and such. Mm -hmm. You became that, that you, you're a legend. You, not only, you can't be, you can't call yourself a legend. Yep, yep. Like, that's just calling, you calling yourself great. You're not yep. great, but you're calling yourself great, so you can't call yourself a legend. Other people got to call you a legend. So do you think being on the tour... Kind of no. stamp you as a legend, or you no. you was already a legend before. No, you can't. The tour can't stamp you as a legend because yep. the tour is only a couple of games, okay. so it can't stamp you as a legend. Like I can say, I would say myself, right? Right? People like yo, you're a legend, legend. I'm like, okay, I am. Okay, one, I can say, be a humble. I'm not. I'm not a legend because I'm still young. I'm still playing. Then I'll be like, okay, you know what? I did start when I was young. You put in that work. I was playing in Citywide. I yep. was playing in uh, UDC. I was playing in Baby Rucker before Rucker. Yep. I was playing in Rucker. Yep. I was playing in 4 Fifth. I was playing in Dykeman. I was playing in Kingdom. I was playing like, over the top, over the hill, dog, uh, big dog in all these parks. Yep. Pitting in pain from a youngin. So... Now, like right now, when I go to the, in this lead I'm playing in, I have the real legends there. Like, no, he's stamped. Yep. Charles Jones, up no, up, no, they just no, he's stamped. I'm not so I ain't see for him in 20 years since we was playing. Yep. And he been painting in pain, and he's still painting in pain. Yeah. Nah, you stamped, little bro. Yeah. So it can't be. It got to be really from the ballers to stamp you. I think the legends got to legends legends stamp, stamp you. you. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. the legends of ball players should stamp you. Like not. I think the legends, announcers, yep. if they've been around, yep. should be able to stamp a player as being a legend. Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. But ballers should be the ones that be able to stamp because those are the ones that pin in the paint. Yeah. Like. All the master robs and all of them, like we want, we went to Rucker to watch them. Yeah, Future, Shano, like we went to Rucker to watch them. So it's like they the ones should be able to stamp. Yep. Guys. Yep. No way in hell you should be coming from somewhere over the world or over the border somewhere, and you don't have no street ball in your in your neighborhood. Yeah, not not going to the gym. No, not we're not talking LA about fitness. the gym. We talking about okay. outside. Yeah. The street got cracks in it. It's a hill, and your titty got and your ball got a titty in it. Yeah, yeah, that's tough. That type of playing ball. Yeah. To where the one of the dudes that play high school ball come in the park, and he got a good ball, and you want to use his ball, that that's become a legend. They don't have that in other places. That dudes be calling themselves legends today, and I just be like, just because you played ball. And I'm not going to even include myself, but just because you play ball with and one don't make you a legend. Yep. And one cannot make you a legend. That's fine. Facts. And one is a company. How can they make you a legend? 
We have legendary guys that was on the yep. N1 tour. Then we have young guys that was coming up. Mm-hmm. That where now the older guys to say, <clears throat> no, you are a legend. Not yourself saying, so the legend I'm a legend. Yep. Because you want to call yourself a legend or your fans is calling you a legend. Your fans can't call you a legend. That's, That's your fan. For me. So your top 10. Who's your top 10? Who is your top 10? And yo, Sauce had Riser top eight. Riser's his Sauce top eight? It should be. Sauce from Atlanta. No, I'm saying, saying. Sauce had Riser. At his number eight. Yeah. It should be. It yo. should be in there. He from Atlanta. That's respect. We talking about street ball. Who's from Atlanta? Shit, Sauce. He from Boston, though. No, we talking about Atlanta. Yeah. Riser stamped as Atlanta. That's true. Run and shoot. Yes, sir. So it's like you got Rosal, 50. Spider. So he should, be able to, like, he should be able to name. Top 10. Yeah. He should be able to name his top 10 consortium. Don't have a big top 10. That's true. Yeah. Where, he, where he play street ball at. What's your top 10? Point guard? The every, everything. Yeah, everything. Universal. Lamont. Lamont. Oh. It, it, could be, it, it could be. Because I, I tell most dudes, you know, I tell most dudes, most dudes might have two top tens because you might have the older generation, generation guys. Nah. And you got guys. See, but if you just name your top ten, but like I said, you might have guys I, that's I older. I can't go you... older, though. See, okay. that's what guys, if if you if you if you younger than me and you say yo, Pee Wee Kirkland is in your top, it's like how? You didn't see him play that's like that. How? That's hearsay, yeah. yeah. How? You never yeah. see him play. So yeah. I would have to say my top ten, I would have to go with half man, half amazing. Had him here I, yesterday. I would have to go with um, main event. I would have to go with Shane. I would have to go with up north. Mm-hmm. Cap, the up north, yeah. Up north, yeah. <laughs> Fire. Word. I have to go with Captain Nappy. Uh, oh, that's the first time I heard Captain Nappy. See, that's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. I don't These know that guys name. that I'm playing with. First time I heard Captain Nappy. I had Nappy. to go with Larry. Larry Hughes? No, Larry from Mount Vernon. Okay. I got to go with Roz. Ayo. Eight. And High Octane. One more. One more. That's nine. That pain, though? Baby Shot. Bottom Ooh. line. Woo. That's Baby a good shot. one. Woo. That's, that's, he that's, was a dog. That's a. That's Baby a, Shot. For his size, too. Baby Shot. I done seen Shot. I see him bully, dude. See, I, now I pick old. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good universal list. Yeah. You don't have Skip on that list though. Mm-mm. That's the icon. No, he's not. Let me Skip get your just perspective a basketball on that. Player. Skip is just a basketball player. Do you think he's he one of the greatest? A, he's one of the greatest, yes. Uh, at what he's do, yes. Street ball, yes. NBA did what he do, yes. Can't take nothing from Skip. Hands down, respect his game all the way. But in my eyes, I can't say that. And that's and that's his opinion. Because you know no, why? His, when it came down to Rucker games, Skip wasn't there every day. Spot dates. Mm. So Skip yeah. would come in when it was that time that <laughs> okay, we playing against them. I'm going in. But you gotta realize when I used to go to Rucker, and this is before I was um playing and all that. How I met Maine and them was one day, I don't even know Duke Parkman's. Probably, but at halftime of Rucker game, I start dribbling at halftime against somebody. So they playing D on me, and I shook them up. And I was young, and man was like, "Yo, where you from?" And we chopped it up from there. But what Skip thing is, when Skip came in town, I was like, "Okay, you saw him," and that was that. Yeah. But it was like future there. Headache is there every week. Putting in that yeah. pain. Ali Mo is there every week. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I feel you. You got, you got Andre Barrett there every week. Yep. You got Omar Cook there. You got yep. these guys there every week when I was watching it. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like, Skip came in with Mark Jackson sometimes, or he came in when he brought Escalade to Rucker. Mm-hmm. But it was like, Skip pit his pain already before that. Yeah. You get what I mean? Like Skip already pinned his pain. He ain't have to come in. When I'm talking about, he ain't have to be there every week. He ain't yeah. have to be there 
if their team played twice in one week, he didn't have to be there for that week. He could yeah. chill out. He already stamped it already. Like, he waiting for the big time with the playoffs and all that, when Marbury and all them come in and all that. That's who used to be out there a lot. Yeah. Marbury probably used to be out there a lot. Or, yeah. Zach? Yeah. yeah. Like, that. those guys that yeah. was out there a lot. I still yeah. can't believe he said that about Stephon Marbury. Yeah. That's yeah. like Lance yeah. saying, like, I don't mess with, like, it street ball it dudes. It no, is Lance, is. Lance loves street ball dudes. I, I, yeah. Bro, he yeah. played every summer. Nah, it's yeah. not even about him playing. He loves See, that's it. That's the thing. Like, what I'm trying to say is when guys like that, <clears throat> when I say guys like that, what I mean in in the position you in, where you don't you don't go out you don't go on the neighborhood floor no more. Mm -mm. You only go to the gym, yeah, to the your your practice arena and your practice gym. Like you get what I mean? Yeah. And you don't go out to the parks because yeah. you like this time I'm chilling with my Another family yeah. and I'm not trying to get hurt where I have to have surgery and I can't play for the lead. Da, 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 da. Yeah. He's more like, nah, this is what I've been doing he all my there. life yeah. before the lead. So a lot of guys get it twisted when I look at it and be like, you know, before you made it to the lead, you was playing this type of ball. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And why yeah. not you still play this type of ball? Like I got NBA guys that I work out and I tell them if we're not going to work out in the park one time, then we can't work out at all. Mm. Goes back to what you say, you, what you, you look for in players. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, man, what what we like doing here, you know, a lot of guys, they go on different shows and they like giving guys their flowers. But here, we like giving guys their stamp, you know. And to us, you a legend. Oh, you know, man. you a legend. I, I remember Fawn when you, he was man. young. You a legend, brother. And we want to give you a stamp, man. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm going to accept it. Yes, I'm, sir. Am, I am going to accept it. Now I'm a legend on this day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can yes, get sir. some sneakers now, too. <laughs> Let's go. All right, bro. We appreciate sneakers. you coming through, bro. For real. Can get some sneakers now, too. We're going to talk. We got you. <laughs> we got you, Farm. Farm still be playing and giving niggas like 36 points in these tournaments. Where are you playing at now? I'm well, playing what's the in Derby League. Then I, I, I'm playing in my Vernon Semi Pro. We got Semi Pro team. Uptown, right? Yeah, my Vernon, our home game is on December 4th in my Vernon Boys and Girls Club. But I play in these leagues now where I ain't really, I gave up playing ball a couple of years ago and just focused on training and all that. And I was like, man, you know you only going to lose weight if you play ball. I said, let me find some teams to play because I ain't going to just go out there and play. So I found two teams to play on. And for the past couple of weeks now, I've just been giving them buckets and yeah, going ham on these dudes. Yeah. Well, yo, send us the footage, bro. Yeah, I Please, just let's... I just played against Irvin. I'm had um thirty on them. I'll be right back. You stupid. Yeah, yeah. now the last game before I had thirty six on them. Let's give it up again, guys. For yo, before any before we leave, bro, you got anything you want to say to anybody? You want to address yo, anything? Go check, go check me out. Pharmacist on IG Farm Twenty Three. Yes, sir. For the training, SOS training, yes, and sir. uh, Doctor Farm Fitness training for the ladies. So, yes, sir. I'm just staying busy, I'm trying. That's before it, baby. You're farm in the building. I'll be on parole. Before you get on that, <laughs> stay off the parole. Yeah, I'm still on parole, so I can stay on too.